What is up, YouTube Spectacular Spider Grandpa? Coming back at you with his new comic book day, LCS Hall. If you checked out my video from last night, you knew I, I already picked up uh, all the DC Future States. Um, I've read most of them, except for this one. I haven't read Green Lantern yet. Uh, I got Justice League right there. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman. Dark Detective. Pretty awesome. I'm going to say Dark Detective is great. Uh, Robin Eternal. That's the only review I'm going to get. I'm not going to spoil the rest of my reviews. I'll save that for Blast It and Stash It. Which of course is Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Myself, Pokan Joe, and Huey's Comics. Here's Teen Titans right there. The one that everybody's speculating on. Uh, Superwoman. And I also picked up... Um, the one I missed from last week, I didn't really pick it up. I wanted to see. I wanted to give it a shot. So, Superman of Metropolis. I enjoyed this. I, re I really enjoyed this. I thought it was a decent story. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the DC Future State. Uh, went to my LCS this morning, a little while ago. They opened at 10. Um, and got the rest of the books, Marvel and all the indie books, First off, we got Space Bastards, number one. Can't wait to read that. I did pick up a copy of Red Sonia and the Superpowers, this Liz Linzer cover. Because why not? Uh, this book everybody wants. I had to ask my shop owner because he put them behind the counter to cut down on the um, uh, flippers. Lost my train of thought. Uh, of course, it's Haha -ha number one. Right there. Uh, Man's World number one. Erratic number two. Uh, most of the Blasted and Stash It crew absolutely loved this. I think all, we all did. I think we all lo loved the first issue of this. Here's issue number two. Kind of a Spider Man like character who only gets his powers for like a minute out of the day or 10 minutes or some shit like that. Uh, the 27 Run, Crush, number one. Uh, a Girl and Her Wolf, I guess. I don't know. I, I picked it up because I, I buy everything. Uh, this is pretty cool. Chris Claremont, Anniversary Special. Um, ready to see what uh, uh, this entails. Of course, Chris Claremont, uh, the legend. He's done a lot for the X-Series in the past. So, uh, Gwenum versus Carnage, number one. And I'm going to go on record again as saying I really hate the Gwendam costume. Really, really hate it. Please, somebody do an updated one or a better one. Uh, Planet of the Symbiotes, number one. No crushing Earth there. Of course, my pick for Marvel Book of last year was Darth Vader. And here's number nine. Can't wait to dive into that. Uh, Thunderbolts, number one. King and Black tie-in. And last but not least, we have Essentia, number one. Don't have a clue what it's about, but I'm going to give it a try. I also got this in the mail a couple days ago. I forgot to show it. It's a Mike Mayhew variant to Dear Becky number, I don't know. Um, but it's the Homelander wrecking shit. So, pretty cool mutt right there. And Mike Mayhew uh, kills it with these covers. So, there is a, another one um, where it's the... I don't know if the American flag is burning in the background or it's just the American flag. But I kind of dug this one a little better with the flames. I don't know. I think that one was a little more expensive too. I could be wrong, but uh, it's cool non nonetheless. That is it. Of course, I'm on my two days off for the week. Um, come Again, come check us out on Blasted or Stash. It, we'll be reviewing most of these books. If not all of them, um, that's uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, Friday night. Myself, old Pokan Joe, I guess he's he's slaving away in his uh, his evil lair today. Or he's working. He's probably working. And old Huey Comics, um, the host with the most. Um, love giving him shit. Love that guy. So come check us out, 10 p.m. Eastern. I've said enough. I'm getting off here. Y'all be kind to one another.